not gonna make it in. Again and welcome to the Prince Magnum channel. Uh, I am your host Prince Magnum, and we have my lovely wife on camera again. Project Spirit has had a slight mishap. We were out and about uh, coming from a doctor's appointment, and of all the things, shifting linkage broke. So we are actually going out to an old high school friend of mine down in the Ironton area, and we're going to be swapping it out getting rid of this for something right here, okay? Now we're gonna have to do this in clips because obviously there's just gonna be too much to show, but we're gonna do this in clips, we're gonna have some fun, and uh, Spirit is going to have a wonderful new piece of equipment that's just gonna allow her to shift much crisper, and uh, well, you'll see. See y'all in a few. Here we are again, part two of this video. If I can get my wife to paint up here, no longer am I gonna deal with this anymore. Nope, we're down here on the floor, okay? So here we go. Okay, as you've seen in the first part, uh, that shifter, yeah, it just totally broke on us uh, after a doctor's appointment. And uh, we had to limp it all the way, you know, uh, what normally takes like a half an hour drive took us like an hour. It was an absolutely slow drive, but we got there and uh, had to do some cutting and had to fit the, uh, the parts on. Uh, basically, when you order uh, this, uh, the Indy shifter, uh, from Hearst and you get it I got mine through Jegs uh, they were kind enough to tell me there's not a whole lot of these kits left evidently a lot of people aren't putting three-speed manuals back in their car uh, a lot of people are sticking to going to five and six speeds nowadays um, so we may even see where the four speeds may even start going away which is a cry and shame uh, but they told me that they only had two kits left uh, from what I'm understanding these are some of the last kits left uh, evidently Hearst isn't even making these anymore um, they also told me that pretty much nowadays you have to buy the kits you know the the linkage and the the hardware and the shifter all separately so you'll spend a little bit more money and in the old days it used to be you could go in and get these kits right off the shelf at your local auto parts place for 50 bucks and spend a, a weekend putting it in and, and everything um, but that's becoming a thing of the past okay when you get your kit uh, it'll automatically come with the mounting brackets and everything like that. A lot of them mounted to the, where the tail shaft was, so you're going to have to loosen bolts on the tail shaft. Do be careful because you will lose transmission fluid if you're sitting on a hill just right. So be very careful with that. Um, um, just expect to lose a little bit and be quick about when you're mounting it. Um, what we did was we actually mounted the bracket, put it up, got an idea where we were going to cut the hole inside the tunnel. And uh, once we did that, we cut the hole and everything, and it just fit up there real nice. Hearst did a fantastic job. Uh, this isn't an external uh, linkage kit, so there's not a whole lot to, you know, it, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. And if you follow the direction, guys, follow the directions, uh, pretty much uh, it goes on just about like it exactly says on the directions. Uh, not a whole lot to really guess on that. Um, now the shifter, I will tell you, uh, it, the, the shifter, the linkage, everything fits up there real nice, but kind of a heads up, uh, it'll still be a standard H pattern, but it'll be a little bit different than what you're used to. Uh, you know, it'll be a little reversed on you. So uh, kind of a heads up, just kind of go through your gears, relearn them, um, and uh, they're just a lot of fun. 
Uh, I absolutely love that shifter in there, and you'll get to see more in the next clip, uh, you know, after the shifter's in. Like I said, you know, it's one of the things, just play around with it. Um, so that pretty much, you know, that's pretty much how it went together. Um, like I said, yeah, you can kind of see in the, the pictures that there's still some cleanup left to do, and the wife wants to mount the carpet herself and everything, and we're going to have a custom shift knob actually made for this car, and uh, in the old days, we used to make them out of everything, and we're actually going to make ours out of a cue ball, so it'll give me a bigger grip and it'll allow me to shift a little bit better because that shifter is a little short for me. Okay, so uh, you'll get to see in the next clip uh, the car in action. It's a lot of fun and uh, hopefully soon uh, we'll do videos where you actually see me slamming gears with the new shifter. Um, hope you enjoy the next part. I know I enjoyed it, uh, videoing it and I think my wife did too. Seeing, seeing how much better it really really was. Thank you for watching so far.